Good morning, everybody. It's another beautiful day to be pouring concrete. Today, what we got is we got a 30 by 30 house floor inside. As you can see, they've already started framing this. And I'll tell you, sometimes these small inside pours, when you only have one access through a door like this, seem harder to pour than the bigger outside ones over the wall. For whatever reason, they just seem like they take longer. They they're a little bit more of a struggle to pour. You guys, I want you guys to let me know what you think after you get done watching the video. Honestly, we could we could pump an 80 by 40 over the wall outside and probably do it faster than pouring this little 30 by 30 floor. So check out the video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think and how you think we did on this one here today. Get it over that pipe or not, Dan. Get a little bit more right here first. Yep. That, uh, that bottom of that black tape was really close. It might be an eighth low. So, I cut the laser just that, so give you an close. idea. Okay. Hey, if you guys want to wish me a happy early birthday, go right ahead. When's your birthday? Tomorrow, buddy. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't wish me a happy birthday. I didn't know when it was. When's your birthday? Yesterday, day before. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Where we go? Up and over. Yeah. Should we bend those that way a little bit? Can't go much more that way. We'll go up. Watch your. Mike, there's a black one that's gonna snap. Yeah, got you. Five will go right there. Yeah. Good. Just a little bit right there. No, the box isn't on. That seemed a little bit low. A quarter low, maybe. So, like, hold on, I said, hey, it sounds like it's an interior job. I said, maybe, you know, late, early winter, you can come take a look at it, you know, and it's blow up. And he goes, well, the house will probably be sold by then, so.
Hope, hope we're halfway. <laughs> Be close. Should be six and five and a half, I think. Like about six more gallons. Not too bad. Up a little bit. One more. One more. Good. Yeah. You okay. Okay. That's good, Luke. Yeah, drop it right there. We'll pull it. Yeah, a little bit right here. Go this way a little more, please. Lock it. Up a little bit. Good, up. We're going to angle that one for me and I'll pull that. Yeah, Luke. Oh, never mind. You're gonna go up. You just angle it a little bit, okay? Yeah. You go that way. I'll pull it this way. Yeah. A little bit more, please. Bring this over here a little bit and flip this chute. Got yeah, lock it. Down a little bit, please. Alright, we just get a little bit there. We'll leave this hole here. Yeah. Chugger probably. Pipe coming up behind you there and to your left. Can 
turn it if you want to. Want break loop? She is ready to kick straight. Can we move this out of the way a little bit? Yeah. Can I move this a little bit, please? Yeah. yeah really Probably run a, a wheelbarrow right there if you don't mind. How about one more of those? Then I'll pull them ahead. Get one more of those, I'll pull them ahead. Okay, jump right out. We'll pull them ahead. Un unlock it. Yeah. Whew, humid out. Yeah. You, did, you didn't get lost, right? You were just kind of sitting on that corner. Well, Joe called me and yeah. told me that uh, Brian couldn't find it. Yeah. So he told me just to wait there. That's weird. Like, I gave these guys the address and they drove right here. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we got you here. Well, my GPS was telling me to take a right, and then it was up there on just, the right. Just like right here? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I don't Is know. yours and Brian's different? Don't know. Not that I Is aware. yours on your phone or on a tablet? On the tablet. Yeah, they got they got tablets. The tablet. They don't even have paper slips anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, they went all, all digital. Yeah. All digital, but they can't get new oh, trucks. <laughs> anyway. I, I know. was told we were gonna have trucks like next month. Right. After that. Well, hopefully you get a few. Tia, if you go do that up there, then we can start while you finish these end ones. <laughs> that was about it. Yeah, stiffen it up good. Probably gonna get all the way down to where you are. We're gonna need about a half a wheelbarrow. Should be able to do the rest from outside to you. Yeah. She's coming out. Let her get out and uh, nah, we'll just turn it. We can get it all both loaded from outside. You get a minute after she gets out. Can you raise that up as high as it'll go? Get it out here. No, just right there is good. Just way up. So with the goat, if you have one of those on your head, you must have to hit a button, you know, if you think the gear's coming in or something. Well, you just hit, like I do right now, just hit record. You don't have to. If it's on your head, you don't want to be moving. No, you did it before, beforehand. Just let it go. You know, then if you got so much battery life, and if you think the battery's going to run out, then yeah, you'd have to change the battery, but or put the extender on, like I do. It's like that deer I shot, the big buck I shot at last year. I wouldn't have had time to reach up and hit that button. No, you'd want it already going. Yeah, yeah. You know, it'll go for well. The newer batteries, they might go for two hours. Yeah, I told them coming in with just my regular phone. Yeah, because they're dumb over at your stand. Oh, you're not good. Yeah, Okay. Get a little bit here. Hold up a sec. Alright, now you can go down. 
thing I could have retired to do that. Well, that one last year that kept coming in. Half a wheelbarrow, maybe? Do every time you got the stand. I'm going to go up to scrape the chute. And then, can you video that? Uh, you your phone. Good. Let me go up and scrape that down. Luke, can you take that chute off, please? I'll do it. Pull your head a little bit and wash right there. Okay. Just for now, huh? Cool. Yeah, another one down. These guys have been waiting for a long time to get us here. Finally got them on the list so we could get them done. It's just been a long, long list this spring. Just almost impossible to keep up with everybody. When you had garlic. So I don't know guys, you tell me what you think. I mean, that took us over an hour to pour that. That was only 12 yards. It just really seemed like a big struggle getting it through that door, pulling it all around, screeding around the pipes. But anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. And again, come on back. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah, that's what Joe said. Joe's like, he went up and down the road like six times.